Welcome back. As you heard before the break, we talked to head coach Tick Price of the Lamar men's basketball team. Now we shift our focus to the Lady Cards. Head coach Robin Harmony joins me now. Coach, first game of the year this Friday. Are you guys ready? We're getting ready. Um, I'm glad that we have a week to, to wrap up a couple of last minute things, but you know, the season's right on us and that's what we're really worked for since August is so we're here and ready to go. First game is at home against Louisiana Lafayette. How big is it for this team to start the year inside this building, the Montaigne Center? It'll be nice to get back and see our fans again and, you know, let them know that people are watching and you have to make sure that you work really hard and you represent. You know, there'll be 2,000 fans here and, you know, it's not just us and you break down and no one sees it. Now if you don't get the job done and you're not really given a full effort, it's going to be seen. So, you know, we really appreciate our fans. We know how valuable they are to be kind of the sixth man. Um, I believe that we're going to give our banners and, and, and show our new banners and present our rings. So hopefully that'll put a fire under people that they want to repeat and get something like that done again. What memories will that bring back? I know last year was your first year and you won a co-Southland Conference championship. When you get those rings and give them to your players, what will that be like? Well, I kind of cheated a little bit because uh, the coaches already had their rings just because okay. we used them <laughs> for recruiting. Um, but it'll be nice to have the kids have their rings because they're the ones that really earned the ring. Um, and they've been chomping at the bit to get it, you know, because I have them in my office and I let them look at it a little bit, but they want to own it and they want to wear it. And hopefully that'll motivate my new eight players to want to do something like that in the future. Because your success last year, expectations are that much higher this year. I know that in the preseason polls, coaches and SID polls in the Southland Conference, you guys were picked near the top. Does that add any extra pressure on this team? Well, not really. I mean, I think that as a coaching staff, we're always looking to do better and get better. And, you know, obviously we came in and surprised people with winning a regular season championship. Um, you know, you take them when you can get them because they're not easy to get. Um, yes, now we're not a surprise, but, you know, every, anybody in our conference can do very well. And every game of conference is going to be one of those type of things that, you know, it, it's going to be for blood. Now they know about us. We have a target on our back. Um, but we're still not the best team in our conference, so we have a lot of work to do. Every team has those returners that we all as fans or viewers of the game know. Dominique Edwards is a name that comes to mind. Shauna Long, everyone knows what she can do. Give us the name of a player that you think a lot of people may not know about yet that is going to surprise some people. Well, another name that you probably have to mention with those two would be Caroline Adesilu, um, because she is our defensive devil. Um, I, I think that you would have to say Bailey O'Dell. She is from Oklahoma, but she was born and raised in, in Beaumont, Texas. Um, she's starting our point guard right now, so she, she can shoot the ball. She's probably our best shooter um, from the outside. She can shoot it. She's definitely a freshman, but she's going to be somebody for four years that these fans are going to fall in love with. And Coach, last question. First game, Friday night. How much sleep are you getting Thursday night? Uh, I think probably more sleep Thursday than Friday night. You know, you, you, after a while, you just know have to give in and, and get some sleep. But it's whether you win or lose the next game, you're the next night, you're tossing and turning, shoulda, coulda, woulda. Okay, all right, now we have to work on this. You know, it's then you start seeing things that you need to fix. And so I think I'll sleep okay Thursday. It's Friday that they'll be tossing and turning, even you know, even on a W. We just we don't sleep until March, but that's 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 the nature of the business. Um, you know, it's kind of like the box that you checked. <laughs> you know, you, you want to be a newscaster? Well, you check the box. So Absolutely. Yeah. I did check the box as yep, well. So. Exactly. I'll, I'll be getting a lot of sleep Thursday in case you're wondering. So, oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Coach, thanks so much for chatting with us and best of luck Friday. Thank you.